Hello everybody, Zacchaeus Nifong again with Orthodox Daily. Just a quick video tutorial about how to filter out your IP address from tracking your Google Analytics. Let's say you're a website developer or you're an SEO specialist um, and you would like to remove that data from your Google Analytics then uh, this is how you do it. You create a filter. So Google Analytics has recently changed a lot. You have things now called accounts and profiles. Um, right now the only thing that I know of is that you can only have 25 accounts per um, user. So for example, um, all these are, are the accounts that I'm monitoring, so on and so forth. And then under each account, you can have as many profiles as you want. Um, I'm not going to go into that right now. I uh, just wanted to kind of mention that. I'm going to navigate down here to the uh, to the actual account that I want to modify. Once you go in here, you'll notice that you've got a lot of tabs up here now. You've got admin, home, standard reporting, and custom reporting. What you want to do is go ahead and get right on into admin. As soon as you click on admin, you'll notice over here on the right-hand side that you should be in the correct account. If you're not, toggle down and go into the correct account. Once you get there, you'll notice that there's a bunch of tabs along the top, profiles, tracking code, property settings, and social settings. Um, go into uh, profiles tab, and then from there, you want to click on filters. Once you click on filters, go ahead and click new filter. We'll call this um, anything you want. Okay, we're going to do predefined filter. We will do exclude traffic from the IP addresses that are equal to... Okay, well, how do you find your IP address? Well, I don't know. Let's Google it. Let's go over here to, uh, to a new window, which I just, just did. I'm in Firefox, by the way. Um, inside my uh, search box up here in my browser, I've just typed in what is my IP address. All right, click go, and wow, there it is. You don't even have to click on anything. So that's the actual IP address. I'm just going to go ahead and copy it. And from there, let's move back into the IP address. Let's see if I can copy it right in, and I cannot. That's okay. Um, let's see here. Okay, two one two. All right. Most of the time, you don't have to click on IPv6. By the way, um, this should be this should be fine. So go ahead and hit save. Okay, and then there you have your filter for filtering out your IP address, so that you can get real data without worrying about well, is that my site or or is that my IP address um, coming into the data and and so on and so forth. Um, if you guys have any other questions, you can contact us at orthodoxdaily.com and just navigate towards the contact page um, or leave comments or on this video. So thanks a lot and subscribe to our channel. Appreciate it, guys. Have a great day.